Hello and welcome to Smithy's Vaults tutorial. This um, is the artillery barrage, but it's a lot more simplified in that there's no piston, it's a lot less lag, a lot less noise and moving parts. I realised that the piston was completely unnecessary, but I'll show you that there uh, later on. First I want to show what it is that my uh, machine does. I'm just going to open up here. This is just conventional rockets I'm using. Flip on the switches, one at a time. Keeps firing one after the other. And if you want to keep it going, just press the button and it'll, st it'll keep refueling it. Now that's just going to keep firing and keep firing until your chests run out of rockets. And it just keeps firing at the same target. So it is literally like an artillery barrage. There's I'm just going to turn it off now instead. Okay, just At the moment there's no way to get the cart back on track, but literally it is like an artillery barrage. It just keeps firing and firing and firing. Instead of having a whole row of launchers and then you fire one at a time by going up and pulling the lever, this here is a way to make to use one with a bit of machinery and make that there one fire as many rockets as you want, which is a far more effective way of, of, of using it. Now I'm going to show you the innards, the belly of the beast. First just going to get this back up here. Okay, I think an interesting thing is this repeater. Now, before when you had to make a repeater, you had to do it yourself. It had to be done by you creating the pattern by taking away the redstone piece, which I can show here. Okay, this is your conventional redstone repeater. And then the, the user themselves would have to come up and place that there. And that there would start the repeater. But I found a way to make uh, levers do it for you and this is the general setup okay you make it exactly like that there except up here you place a block with a redstone and a redstone current going into it to turn it off that redstone current has to be going directly at it it can't be lying across it like that see now that's on that doesn't work it has to be going straight into the block turns it off then once these two levers are off there doesn't need to be a second one I just wanted to have a big wall of levers once these are off you see the current that's left in here? This here is like the current that you take away and then put place down again quickly. This is the stored current that, that isn't dying. And as soon as you do this here, it starts up again. See? Nice and neat. And that way you can create it by using levers or a button. No, a button wouldn't work. It needs to be a lever. So as soon as you turn off the um the signal, then it's gonna start the repeater again. So that there is a it's a much nicer way and it means that the repeater doesn't always have to be on because the repeater does make you lag. Even if it is just slightly in-game, it does create some lag. And with all this firing going on, you don't want any lag. So that there is the that's a pretty cool method, I think, of, of creating a redstone repeater you, without the user's uh, input in the actual t laying down of redstone. Here, the button is connected here. It sends a redstone signal up here. This is just keep stretches out the redstone. It touches this booster rail track, which the cart is on. The cart's currently holding all these missiles. The cart goes down here. Um, this here should be like that. This is a switch rail. Uh, this is from Railcraft. All this works because of Railcraft. Cart comes down here. This is a boarding track. A boarding track pointing anti-clockwise. It's pointing that their way. As you can see, that's essential because it goes around and around. If it went the other way, uh, it would end up going back up here. We don't want that. Um, this is an item loader. You put in here what you want it to only take out of the cart. I, I ha like if you wanted to set up a big system where there's a range of missiles where a certain item loader will only take a certain missile from the cart or or whatever the reason is. You know, I, I don't really. It's up to you to delve into that further. This here is the item loader. Attached is a large chest with missiles in it. You fill up your missiles. They just need to be adjacent to the block. And as soon as the cart passes underneath here, under the board and track, there doesn't need to be a light for that board and track. If that there is not coloured, that doesn't matter. The tr the cart lights it up when it goes over it. But this is for the uh, the booster track here to keep it going round. Um, it will as soon as the cart goes down over the the loading track or holding track, which is it again? It's a boarding track. The boarding track. It'll take out one of whatever you've got in your chest, come around here, hits into this here item unloader. Yeah, I put in a filter here as well, you don't need to. And it 
will take from the cart a filter. It'll take from the cart whatever the filter is, and the filter here is a conventional missile. If there is no filter, it'll take everything from the cart. This is the buffer. This is the amount it can store currently. But I mean, as long as you're not running out of missiles here, this is never going to run out of missiles, because this is full, and this is full. So it'll just keep firing until the chests run out. Uh, with a battery box attached with an infinite battery, just to save me time if I have to. But you could link up your own genuine source, because this nothing about this here is undoable in survival mode. So that there's... I thought that was pretty cool. I'm um, just going to place down this track again. And then I'm going to go up to the up to the top and show what the devastation is like when it's being unleashed. I'm going to get started by pressing the button. Uh, that The pistons here are just so I can cover it up and you know put in the coordinates. Start pushing the button. Sets the track going. Cart going, sorry. Start by cancelling out. Now when I do this here, this will start up the repeater. The repeater's going. This here cancels out the repeater. Um, and this starts going. Fire and away. Let's go up to the top and see what's happening. Crowbar. It'll just keep firing and firing until it runs out. Beautiful, isn't it? This is far more effective than just firing one missile from one launcher or five missiles from five launchers. This is 20 missiles from one launcher in the space of 30 seconds. All this land has been rejuvenated with rejuvenation missiles, so it's a bit messed up. That's where the mi when the missiles hit it, it's a bit weird, because I had some test runs. But it is really powerful. It'll just keep firing until it runs out. See? Just keeps firing, just keeps, keeps firing. I'm sorry, I just, I love to look at this here. I think it looks magnificent. But that's it, out of missiles. And uh, that was after we had fired a whole load of missiles. Like this is just the conventional. This is the simplest, easiest, weakest missile. So you can imagine using the uh, and this just comes out of a hole in the ground somewhere. I don't even know where it is. It might be here. I might have. Yeah, I did this. I did the the thing up wrong. So it kind of fires out. It must have hit something up here. But um, you need to have sort of a, a kind of a hole at the top. Just just kind of sea level hole. Um like this and just kind of let it you know sponge out a bit sponge out what know just give it a few gaps of air or whatever and it usually won't uh, hit so this has been my volt tutorial on creating an artillery barrage which will certainly scare the shit out of anybody you use it on um and i hope you've enjoyed and if you want more and if you want any more explanation or if you want to see me make another device or anything like that leave a comment leave a like leave a favorite subscribe thanks very much